Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis. I am here today with the new Hubsan 502E. This is the little brother to the H501S. We did a review for this one before on the channel. You have to check that out. It's a pretty cool little quad here. This one includes follow me and return to home mode and also has GPS on it and your 1080 camera up front. And the little brother is also pretty cool. This is the world's cheapest GPS trainer drone. Um, toy grade drone with a GPS on board so it has return to home it does not have follow me like the big brother the 501s however this one is awesome if you're looking to start and get started as a training like a GPS trainer teach you about some of those GPS modes the return to home function it has altitude hold which will hold it in place and it has GPS lock on here which will lock it in place if you push it it'll actually go back to to its own place in the mid in the air so it's actually really cool that it has that feature on there it also features the camera on the front I believe that is a, a lower grade quality camera than what's on the the uh, big brother here the 501s but we're gonna take some video with this we'll show you some of the modes it also has headless mode on here which is pretty cool as well um, so let's go ahead let's set it down now I've got a little micro SD card in here it does not come with one guys so you'll have to provide your own just make sure that's in there nice and tight I already have it turned on and I calibrated the compass you're gonna do that uh, we did tutorial early on this one and showed you how to calibrate the compass so almost the same thing here the transmitter will tell you to do that so go ahead and do your compass dance first every time you fly this do the compass calibration so let's go ahead set it down in a nice little spot there we'll set this one over to the side now the transmitter is pretty cool on here I'll show you this really quickly it looks like some of the other hub sand transmitters the earlier models uh, it does have photo and video up top here you press it for a half second here and it'll take a photo if you press it for a second and a half it'll start the video now second and a half again to stop the video and save the video file on the right hand side you have the return to home button which we're going to show you we're going to test that out and it also shows you how many satellites right now I don't know if you can see this but I have 10 satellites connected to this so that's pretty cool that there's 10 satellites connected to the copter now it does not have a GPS inside the transmitter because it's not the follow me one but this is still pretty cool it has all your trim switches on here on off button and your we're in mode 2 on this one so we're gonna have throttle here and it does have a self-centering stick as well for altitude hold and GPS lock and then on your right stick it's gonna give you your pitch and roll axis if you push down on the right hand oh, excuse me left hand button you're gonna go into uh, headless mode if you take that off and the right if you push down on the right stick it's gonna put you in a higher rate it's gonna put you in expert flight mode which is gonna give you more pitch and angle and roll when you want to fly so let's go ahead now let's fire it up the way you start the motors and arm it down and out now we're good to go now there is a little bit of wind right now so it might drift a little bit but it'll take just a second for that GPS to lock when you first start yours up give it about a minute before you start to fly it but right now I'm hands off you might be able to see a little bit of wind in these trees beside me up top so if I fly up too far obviously it's gonna get start to get pushed away away from me so I'm gonna go ahead and start the video now I'll press it down and hold it for about a second and a half and you'll see the video light start to blink here on the transmitter so let's go ahead and do some flying with this and it's very slow and docile in this first mode now I can make it fly faster if I want to by pushing down on the right stick and I can put it in the expert mode and that'll fly it a, le a lot faster actually probably about 30 degrees worth of pitch there on that one now this copter does fly continuously in GPS mode so what that's gonna do here it's going to try to fight me when I'm going in forward motion. It kind of always wants to stop itself. Higher end copters have something on them 
where you can take the GPS mode off and fly it in a different style mode that removes the GPS and it'll act like it's skating on ice but if I let go of the sticks here this copter should stop itself I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit walk up to it this is a toy copter so don't try this at home kids just want to have this come up and be about level with my face here a little bit above my head I'm gonna test out this GPS lock seems to be doing pretty good now so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a push and see it come right back that's how good the GPS works on this quad actually works really well so I should be still recording I believe we're taking a selfie right now hey how's it going guys so let's go ahead and give it a push again see if it comes back Wow and it actually came back to the spot right where it was facing so it was facing me and it turned itself around I pushed it in a 180 and it actually came back that's pretty cool okay guys let's go ahead and flip the return to home switch and we'll see how close it comes back to our landing point so I activated return to home it is turning around and it is also filming we have some people over to our left here so hopefully they don't come too close to us while we're landing you want to keep an eye out for people and animals if you are flying in a populated area this is a pretty small quad but keep your eyes peeled when you're coming down for an autonomous landing and it looks pretty close pretty close to that mark all right guys not bad and it actually landed itself very close to the spot where we took off it was right there next to the 501s and we'll go ahead and disarm the motors go ahead and make sure you do that and don't forget to stop your video record button as well press and hold down for a second and a half so i want to say thanks again to banggood.com for sending us this one for review and demo for you guys this is super awesome it's the hubsan x4 desire it's the 502e Check that out on Banggood. Thanks a lot for hanging out, guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.